Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats and I will begin to tell my story. Once there were two brothers, one rich and the other very poor. One day, the poor brother went to the rich one to ask for help. Hello, brother. What do you want? I was hoping you could help me. <laughs> Since my dear wife died, it has been very hard to care for my daughter and work all day in your fields. I was wondering if- Help you? Ha! You can go to the devil! Very well. That's where I shall go. The poor brother traveled across his brother's fields and down the road. As he traveled, he came to a river. There, he found a man who carried people across the river, but couldn't get out of the water himself. Excuse me, where are you going? I need to give you a lift. My wife is dead, and my daughter needs more than I can give her. My brother suggested I find the devil, so that's what I'm doing. Why so glum? I have to carry everyone across this river, but I can't get out of the water myself. Hey, do you think you could tell the devil how it is with me, and ask him what I must do to be able to climb out? Certainly I will. I wish you the best of luck on your travels. The poor brother traveled on until he came to where a young, unmarried woman was sitting on a cup. Sir, pray tell, where are you going? Why, dear lady, I'm off to the devil. You see, my wife died leaving my daughter with no one but me. So my brother suggested I go to the devil to find help. Oh. In that case, would you be so kind as to ask him why I can't leave this cup? It's very lonely. I shall ask him. Later, he came to a leafless tree. Hey man, who said that? Me, I wanna know where you go. Well, my brother told me to go to the devil to seek help for my daughter, who is without a mother. And do me a big favor. Ask him why it is I can't grow leaves. Will you do that for me? Okay, I will. Thanks, I owe you one. The poor brother soon came upon a house set up on chicken legs. Hey, where are you going? I'm off to see the devil. Come to the right place. He'll be back soon, and then he'll eat you up. Oh, please, please hide me. Well, all right. I'll turn you into a knitting needle and stick you in with my current project. I smell something, something good. I know what it is, it's human blood. Oh, good. 
You noticed. Try to. Eh? It looks good. I'm the devil. I'm supposed to strike fear into people's hearts. I asked you, how could I do that with this? And I say, how could you do that with pneumonia? Hmm. Now eat and tell me about your day. Not far from here, there's a leafless tree with a rich treasure buried underneath it. If the treasure were to be dug up, the tree would sprout leaves again. Another thing, I passed a young woman sitting on a cup. If she was simply to get married, she'd never have to see that cup again. I also passed a man who carries people across a river, but can't get out of the water himself. If he were to dunk one of the people he carries into the river, he would be able to leave the water at last. Uh, uh, yeah.